In today's episode of What's My Aesthetic, we are making over the home of two creative weirdos, Anna Grace and Taylor. Hi, Hi what's up? I am Taylor. And I'm Anna Grace. And we're married. We're married. These newlyweds have tried their darndest to make their converted garage guest house their home. We'll of course get to know their aesthetic. They agree. We have a couple who have the same taste. And roll up our sleeves to make it a reality. So grab a warm cup of coffee and get cozy because today's episode is sponsored by Keurig to introduce the new K Cafe Coffee House Brewer. And let's get dramatic, playful, and creative. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Kate, and I live my life as a creative weirdo. I think people's weirdness is their own brand of uniqueness. And it's my passion in life to help people define their creativity so that they can express their truest selves to the world. You may be 60% bohemian, 30% minimalist, and 10% glam, but whatever you are, you're 100% you. So let's go on a journey together and ask the question, what's my aesthetic? Nice Hello. to meet you. Yep. Anna Grace. Yes. Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. Roll Tide. Whoa. But about four years I've lived out here. Oh my god. Yeah. Are you in the pool house? Oh, technically. Nice. Yeah. But it's kind of connected by the garage to the main house. Oh, it's so nice in here. It's like a one bedroom, there's a bedroom back there. And that's the closet on the left, which is an odd place to have the closet, but it's so big that we're like cool. So we each have like a side of the oh, closet. Oh, that is a huge but you could be like a cool like island situation. Right. Have you ever thought about being an island? Absolutely would love that. What do you do for work? I'm an actress too. Actress, gotcha. So, and your husband's a stage actor. Yes. So your husband's style. It's very much like leather and like wood. That is the main house back here. So like oh. I hang out in the backyard sometimes. Oh wait. So they have to come around this to get access to the pool. Yeah, but they don't really go in it very much. So that's why oh, these curtains okay. are still here from when we moved in because it's sort of like yeah, yeah, yeah. see My husband and I are we try to agree on right. what our aesthetic is. Right. And what we decided to do was take the quiz together last night. We found a picture of your living room on Pinterest and we were like this is like the perfect marriage of both of our Oh, great. Aesthetics. This section is it's basically storage because when we moved in, we started unpacking boxes. They already have this up here? Yeah. I thought maybe about putting the desk over there or making it sort of like a desk area. Oh, you know? yeah. No, I love that idea. Excited. Okay. Any final thoughts? Help. Help. <laughs> help. help on three. One, two, three. Help. Settle in. Okay, so we are diagnosing Anna Grace and Taylor. Now, we have a unique situation on our hands here, people, because guess what? They agree. We have a couple who have the same taste, and that is an overarching love for mid-century modern. And they said, we love your living room. Our meaning mine and Joey's living room. The thing about our living room, we have, you know, a barrel ceiling, a fireplace, an arched window. We have some architectural interest going on in there that they don't have in their living room. We'll get to that later in the plan. But they like a dark colored wall. They like streamlined furniture. So think tapered legs, a mix of tan colors, maybe some tweed like fabric, and also some raw wood. So based off all of that, the fact that they agree, I am diagnosing them as a couple as 80% mid-century modern and 20% farmhouse. <sighs> Oh my gosh. 80 oh, cent, cute. 80% mid-century modern, 20% barbell. 80 cents? <laughs> you, got, you got 80 cents for me? Yeah, what All do you right. think of that diagnosis? I love it. Tell All me right. the plan. Let's go over the plan. So guys, you know that we treat everybody to these makeovers. Like we basically bring them all this furniture, they get it all for free, which is awesome. Based on the fact that they love our living room so much, uh -huh. I want to give them our couch. What? We're giving them our couch? Yeah, because I've been wanting to change it out with one that's just a little bit longer. And we get a new couch? Yes, I I already have one picked out. It's a little bit longer than the one we have now. It's the same style though. You guys are crazy. Well, I just, yeah. I'm a creative, crazy creative weirdo. <laughs> um, okay, so they love our living room. Now, obviously the difference between our living room and their living room is- Completely different architectural style. Thank you, exactly. So it's we have a barrel ceiling, we have an arched window. 
They do have the cool like uh, beams though. I mean, it's a low ceiling, but the beams are cool. But I don't want to paint out those beams a different color because that'll just make the ceiling too low because it already is pretty low. Mm -hmm. But I do love that they like the dark color because I think doing a dark color in there is going to really help. So like an accent wall? Mm -hmm. No, I want to go all the way dark around that whole living room and then keep the kitchen light. The entire room dark? Yeah, it's actually gonna make it more cozy. It'll make it look more designed because the thing that we have going against us in that space is just the layout. It's a weird shaped room. There's windows on every single wall, mm. which we can tell that's already been an issue for them because they have their TV in front of one of the windows. Right. So I'm gonna be doing something in this room that I haven't done in a while, and that is Putting in some real plants. So predictable, I always do that. <laughs> you guys know that I usually use just the square shape of the room and I let that dictate like the line of the couch, lines up with one of the walls. We're not gonna do that in here. As you can see, as these things come in, we are going to place the rug at a diagonal, the sofa at a diagonal, bringing in maybe some stools opposite to it so it's really like a full 360 conversation area. Now the reason for this is because of just the amount of windows in there, really trying to make sure that we don't have to put the TV in front of the window but also have it be viewable from like their kitchen and have the living room be like a good flow. So this diagonal is going to make it happen, which we'll be able to clear out the little storage area and make that into like a desk area there. Uh -huh. We'll do a collage wall over here with some of their wedding photos and maybe some DIY artwork. And then I think in the kitchen, an island in there would be Yeah, great, it's a right? big kitchen, so like it's kind of empty. So I think that's something you could build. Sure, a, a kitchen island? Yeah, and maybe use some of these. Like I just laid out the supplies here, so like the hairpin legs. Oh, yeah. Right? So Good it kind of would look like a table, like a counter height table slash like extra surface area for them while they're cooking. Love it. I think it's going to be really, really impactful when you walk in the front door and see like just a proper living Room. Yeah, it's always a risk to design on the bias, which, you know, is just kind of designing at a diagonal in a room, but I think this is the room for it. Exciting. Okay, so I got to paint this whole room. Mm -hmm. We're changing out the fixtures? Yeah, so we'll change out the fan to a light in the living room because their AC works really well in there. They don't need the ceiling fan and we're gonna change out that ugly fixture in their kitchen. And removing the curtains. Removing the curtains because they have blinds on the windows and then that one very awkward shaped window that doesn't, we can't put blinds on because it's just the wrong length, we're going to frost that glass with this fro window frost. Love it. Great. I'm nervous. Why? Because I'm not gonna have a couch anymore. <laughs> and because we're gonna paint their entire interior a dark color. It's gonna be great. It's gonna look like a really beautifully designed space. It's what the space needs. I trust you. Because it's actually a really ugly worm when we're trying to make it cute. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go get started on that. You're gonna go meet them and do stuff? Yes. All right. I have DIYs to plan and things to shop. Great. Hey everyone, we want to quickly tell you that today's sponsor, Keurig, and their K-Cafe single serve coffee, latte, and cappuccino maker. Ooh, you know I used to work in a coffee shop a long time ago, right? I know, you're a retired barista. But the good thing is you don't have to be a barista to enjoy your favorite coffee or creamy lattes and frothy cappuccinos at home. And we're going to give Anna, Grace, and Taylor their very own K-Cafe coffee house brewer to enjoy in their new home. That's right guys, every house can be a coffee house with the K Cafe Coffee House Brewer. You can froth your choice of fresh milk, including skim, soy, and almond to create a creamy latte or frothy cappuccino. Just pour your milk into the dishwasher safe frother and select either latte or cappuccino and watch your milk magically froth. There's even a cold setting if you're having an iced beverage. The brewer works with any of your favorite K-Cup pods, so the options are endless. You just put your K-Cup pod in and brew six, eight, 10, or 12 ounces of your favorite coffee to your cocoa. Simply pour your freshly frothed milk into your coffee and enjoy. It is really good. You guys, go to Keurig.com to learn more, and I think Anna, Grace, and Taylor are gonna love this thing. But let's get back to decorating, shall we? Let's do it. Taylor, I didn't get to meet you in person.
person. It's so nice to finally meet you. I know. You usually work at Disneyland as I Prince do. Han yeah. in the Frozen show. In the Frozen show, yes. Which you were busy being an evil villain yes. while I went and met your lovely wife yes. here. Yes. So are you ready to hear what you are based off of my yes, the yes. doctors? Please, I have to give okay. the diagnosis. I have diagnosed you guys as 80% mid-century modern. Okay, yeah. cool. So our highest scoring so far Ooh, in this series. Yeah. And awesome. then 20% farmhouse. Cool. Okay, I love that. cool. Yeah. A little rustic, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little unfinished wood kind of, you know, a little bit of the white, <laughs> mm -hmm. white, like the worn wood thing that you like. So that's where we're at. You guys feel so excited? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what you learned about the wedding the photos. The wedding photos by watching our newlyweds video. Yes. We got married and I loved all the photos that our photographer took and I like framed them and then we watched the episode, the newlyweds episode, where they had something really similar and you came in and you were like, this is great, this is a lot. And so you took one of them and you made it like kind of the centerpiece with like some different photos around. Right, some more like landscape photos right. around. Right, which I was like, I need to do. And my reasoning for that is just because I think if you have too many of the same type of photos, it detracts from all of them. Right. Like, yeah. you're basically having too many faces coming at you yes. out of a gallery wall and you kind yeah. of don't really know where to look as opposed to creating the gallery as like a guy, as a story. Mm -hmm. yeah. And really highlighting those photos. So that said, thank you for this. I took inspiration from that and I had this. Oh, oh my gosh. Better. This is just a hint at like, how much we're gonna celebrate you, because like, this is gigantic, right? So, what we're gonna do right now is an art piece together, because we're gonna create a gallery wall set up, but we wanna have a piece <laughs> of art that yeah! you guys create That's together. So, so, we're gonna do abstract art, and it's gonna be really easy, and it's gonna be fun, and we're gonna mix in some colors that are very mid-century and sort of vibe, right? Look at that. That's awesome. Vanilla yeah. pudding pop. Oh, that yeah, really yeah. is like, it's making me hungry, <laughs> right? Now we're gonna play with some horizontal lines as well as some vertical lines. So we're gonna use some of the darker colors here and it's all just using these spatulas, no more brushes. So it's, it's a really fun kind of peaceful technique. So we'll just deposit a little bit of color. That's oh it, my I'm gosh, done. we're done. So good, I love guys. this so much. Look at you. So you so never good. doubt your art skills now. <laughs> I couldn't recreate it if I wanted to. There's no way. But it's like very peaceful in the way that like the colors mix in together. I mean, this is like mid-century modern to a T. All right, so we're gonna let this dry. You guys are gonna go. I'm gonna see you tomorrow when your space is awesome. all done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank We're you. so excited. <gasps> Thank you, Artis. Artis. <laughs> Artis. Artis. <laughs> All right, well, let's go, because I have another project to do elsewhere, but I'll kick you guys out on the way. <laughs> Come on. Hello? Hello? Joey! Are you there? Joey! It's going okay. <laughs> There's a lot of paintings. Yeah, I was going to say, I see a white wall right behind you. Painting. The ceiling's being painted. And, then and you got the butcher the block countertop? And the tabletop that we're going to put together for the new oh, cool. uh, island. Yeah, that looks good. We're going to get the dark paint on these walls. I okay. have sketches to do and stuff to put in frames, and then I'll bring over stuff. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. So obviously we have that amazing artwork that Anna Grace and Taylor just painted as drawing. So while it's drawing, I'm going to prep some other stuff that's going to be in our gallery wall setup. I only showed them that one blown up photo of the one of them standing from their wedding, but I also have this one, which is so cute, which will be really cool, I think, also as part of the gallery setup. And the reason why I think this one is okay mixed in with the other one is because it's so close up. I also have one of our art prints. Um, that you can get as well on shop.mrkeek.com. I love this sort of like minimalist look. It's very mid-century in that it's kind of like abstract again. 
So we're sort of offsetting the wedding photos with these more abstract pieces. So I want to also include a sketch because you guys know that I love to integrate also hand-drawn stuff. So when you're creating a gallery while you're telling a story, it is a gallery. It's like you're having your own exhibit. So you can mix in photography with paintings, with sketches. So I want to do something, again, abstract. I want to just do like a line drawing. You know, one of those where you like the line never separates. <laughs> I think what I just created is like one of those drama masks, which they're both actors. Doesn't that kind of look like one of those? Like the Shakespearean masks? So I'm gonna cut that out and put it in a frame. And then I'm gonna go join Joey because I think he needs some help over there. It's acting a little cray cray. Frames. This looks so much better in here. Like it's like it's an crazy. actual room now. It is like completely opposite of what it was before. How many coats did you have to do on this? 10. Shut up. 12. <laughs> no. Okay. Like three. Drama queen. I mean, look at this though. Like this looks so cool now. Yeah, because this is such a patchworked room. You know, the fact yeah. that it's like a garage extension. It pulls with it like together. Different size windows and whatever. How good does this light look over here? <gasps> oh yes, Joey. This was also an amazing hack. Like this was such a good idea. I know, um, I love this. This is bringing in like a little bit of the farmhouse vibe and you did such a good job. They'll be able to like, use this as a cutting board, extra kitchen surface, and we took away their miniature dining table over there, which they didn't even use, and this is so much better. Now we have these amazing mid-century stools. Yeah, these are cool. That they can sit at here, you know, and they store under here nicely yeah. as well, so like move around it easily. This turned out really cool too. Joey, you did such a good job with this. Thank you. This is removable, wallpaper. Great. This is like such an I mean, Instagram spot now. Come on, I just styled it. Are we having a coffee break? No, no, we have a coffee break. Roll a rug, rug cuddle, rug cuddle. I mean, how did it feel that you didn't have to mount a TV for once? It was and great. And take down the curtains. That's how life should be. No mounting TVs, no hanging curtains. But uh, look how good this looks with this mid-century sideboard. This is establishing our diagonal layout, right? We're starting from the corner. Boom. This justifies it. That's all. that's establishing it. You know what's driving it home? What? Look at this giant rug I have here. <laughs> you wanna help me roll it out? Set on the diagonal. We're designing on the bias. I'm a little biased myself. Um, oh my god. About how beautiful you are. Why are you talking like that? Like a creeper? <laughs> Can you go down there? No, I like how cozy it goes right here. <laughs> and the frosting looks really good too. The frosting looks good. The desk is like, this is game changer. This is game changer because like this little area was so weirdly tucked away behind that curtain before, like making it feel like a And trying to have their desk out here in the living room, like it just didn't make any sense. Now it feels like it's like a dedicated spot. It's yeah, perfect. and it's we're genius. still using the vertical space for the storage. I have some storage baskets and stuff, but okay. okay. let's talk, more roll. Anyway. One, two, huh. <gasps> oh, 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 wait, I can't, I've got one. <laughs> oh. oh. That's such a cool little fixture, it's like, I know, that's so mid-century cute and so much better than the ceiling fan, which they don't need because their AC works on a roller wall. Wait, can you give me a head? There we go. Oh, nice, your bicep's like a neck warm. It's because it's so big. It's just the perfect size. But yes, huge. <laughs> Perfect size piece. I know, it's so narrow, right? It's so nice. So this creates now like a hallway, right? Because we have the front door here. They walk in. This justifies the back of the couch on a diagonal. They can walk into the kitchen, set their keys here. There's so much great seating now. I know. We've she said she likes to have her friends over. This is perfect. Yeah, this is like a 360 degree conversation area. 
plus storage in these ottomans. Okay, so let's talk about the big stuff in here. Obviously, the biggest liberty that we took was doing a diagonal floor plan. Uh -huh. And we're justifying that. I think it works. That. Yeah, I think it works too. I mean, obviously, we're justifying that with everything, with the rug set at a diagonal, with everything set at a diagonal, but creating the traditional conversation area that we love to do, two chairs, coffee table, sofa, but this is now like a full living room setup. We have the tapered legs. You'll see that as a very identifying feature on mid-century. You see that the- Legs, 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 yeah, legs, legs, like legs. like those tapered legs, really simple. Legs. You'll see that the lines of all the furniture is really clean, and that is definitely very characteristic of the mid-century, because remember, we're trying to do 80% mid-century in here, which is a lot. But then we're also mixing wood tones, which is very farmhouse, our 20% farmhouse, so we've got like, a darker wood coffee table, the more medium tone of the wood here. We'll do some mixed frames, you know, with all the artwork set up. And then I think it's so much better in here without the curtains because they have a very awkward setup with the amount of windows and the fact that all the windows are different sizes. They have French doors, that's their entry door. So by not doing curtains, we're sort of like letting the windows just be these rectangles in the room. Not right, and this is so a great solve because like you basically were looking right into another house before. Yeah, this is so the back it's house. Like a nice just muted light coming in. Right. Their landlords live on the other side of that window and now it's frosted. They don't have to have the curtains drawn all the time. So like we're getting more light in here too, which is great. Love it. They already have the blinds on the window, so. All right, well, I'm gonna get the artwork and photographs and stuff up. On that wall, yep. And then you'll Arrange. judge and then we'll be done. Yeah, and the artwork turned out so cool. It's okay, I'm gonna do styling. Great. All right, guys, we have this amazing wall desk here. Like, what a perfect nook this is for a desk area. Before, it was just this cluttered closet concealed by a curtain. Like, this is so much better. And this wall desk is amazing because we're using the vertical space. And this is very mid-century in style, obviously, still keeping with the clean lines, that kind of medium tone of wood. This is actually bamboo, but you know, we're taking some liberties. So some of the farmhouse elements, obviously baskets and things with more natural elements like this rope and glass. This is obviously very much like the farmhouse beachy vibe. When you guys take our test, whatever you score the majority on, that's kind of your major aesthetic where you should focus on your furniture pieces. And then there's those other styles where you get less of a percentage. Those are the things you can focus on for accessories. So you're still bringing in that style, but not in the big pieces. So let's get this up on the shelf. having these amazing faux plants on hand for me to style. We also have the hanging plant that she already had up, so yay. But let's talk about the small stuff that's going in. Obviously, plants create a really design decorated look. You guys know I'm a broken record about bringing plants in, just bringing in that natural element, softens an odd corner, etc. So definitely gonna use these probably over there. I've also got this new side table, which is very mid-century. Clean lines, unembellished legs, except for a little peak of natural wood at the bottom. I'll probably put that over there by that chair. I have their existing side table here, and I love that she just kind of DIY'd this. Is a Lazy Susan they got for their wedding, one of their wedding gifts, and it's marble, and she just put it on top of this like inexpensive table, and it 
is a cool tiered look. Loving it, keeping it, yas, Anna Grace. For the tabletops, you guys know I love to bring in a brass accent, especially in a mid-century room. Brass is a very important color. The warm colors, the warm tones of wood, the warm tan, the warm brass, very mid-century. I've also got some other things there. Geometrics, lines, you know, nothing really small patterns. You'll also see that here with the pillows. We've got kind of a tweed, which is very mid-century. You'll also see that happening here on the fabric of the chairs. Nothing over embellished. And we are in mid-century land. <laughs> Looks good, looks good. Hello. This is cute. Isn't that cute? She had that. Is that you? Mm. With your little pink hair. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. That's how I look in the morning. <laughs> uh, my top knot. I think it looks great. It looks really good. It has such a different feeling in here now with the dark walls. Like, I know we took a major risk doing that, but like it just unifies the space so much more and it feels so decorative. This is also a game changer. Game changer, like a kitchen island is so... What were they Everyone thinking? Everyone needs Not having one this if in they here. can fit one. I know. Okay. All right, should we get them? Yeah. Should we show them? Ready. Let's go. We'll do the Joey move. Okay, I've got my hands on your hips. This is like the lamest mom. This is the most is this where, is this where you thought we would ever. take you? Is this where, all right. Think about think about what your space Anna looked Grace like before. Like shaking. Oh my gosh, you look really cute though. I love your outfit, guys. Yay. All right, picture what your room looked like before. Okay. that all the windows didn't match. I think this is a better way to just make it feel more mid-century. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> the plants are cool. Oh my gosh. There's gonna be right? so many selfies. Isn't that, I'm I know, out. that's, yes, that's what I said. I was like, this is so good. Oh my God, this is so cute. Yeah, for your new stool. I love this. We just kind of figured the way your dining set up before. <laughs> I know, I'm shaking too. I like it more. 
I love this so much. Oh my gosh, and there's croissants, like a styling croissant. Oh, yeah. oh that's your new Pure K Cafe coffee house brewer. Oh I love my it. Gosh. I use this every day. Oh my gosh, I love this and so Joey much. And Joey built this island, oh, and no. it's butcher block countertop, so you can use it as like a cutting board and everything. It. Oh, I haven't oh looked up God. yet. Oh my gosh, I'm so busy looking down. taking in things that I didn't notice at first. Oh my gosh, that thing behind oh, it. Was, so this makes it so that this becomes now your hallway, yeah. right? When you yeah. walk in the front door, you have this entryway. Because this diagonal floor plan isn't something like I normally do, as you guys know, yeah. watching I love the it. video. I, love I wasn't it. expecting it, but it, it but really it works. works. All your throw blankets from your wedding are in those storage ottomans. <laughs> right? Those are all for your wedding gifts. <laughs> <laughs> like, all of my throw blankets like, are wedding gifts. Oh my gosh. How great is that coffee table, too? Oh, it's fabulous. It looks like a magazine. It does, <laughs> right? And hello, Gallery Wall of Dreams. Oh, right there, right? And the painting. Mm -hmm. I love it so Isn't much. It so, and it brings in the beautiful blues and greens. Oh, yeah. And then the mid-century like mustard, which is like the same kind of tone of this yeah. leather. Yeah. And then that. Did you sketch that? Drama. At the yeah, top? the drama mask. I did it with one line. That so is like so a cool. Line. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're Thank you welcome. guys. This is really you beyond pleasure. beyond our oh expectations. We're gonna go. We've had a long day. We're gonna go not. Yeah. Sit at home and watch TV because it's on the couch. <laughs> 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 so, so, so enjoy, enjoy yeah, it all. Enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you so it's much. So awesome. Yeah, it's great. Look at the lamp. I didn't see the lamp. Look I know lamp. that lamp. I was, I was like, that lamp. <laughs> That's that so lamp, cool. That lamp. <laughs> enjoy it, guys. Enjoy, guys. Thank you so much. Go sit on the couch. Yeah, let's let's go, let's go sit on the couch. I want to sit in this chair. Guys, what did you think? Oh my gosh, I think that they loved it, most importantly, but of course we want to hear what you think, so let us know in the comments. I think I think they were great candidates for an intense makeover. Like, that was not a light makeover. We went from white to dark. It was a bold choice. We were bold in there, but we kept, you know, the mid-century lines are all clean and everything like that, so I think we can go bold with the walls. I think we nailed their aesthetic. Yeah. Guys, do you know what your aesthetic is? Did find you know out. you can take our What's My Aesthetic quiz and find out? <laughs> On MrKate.com and let us know in the comments what you are. You'll be a unique split of a bunch of different styles maybe or maybe you'll be all one. Who knows? If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Join the Creative Weirdo family. We will be happy to have you. We need to grow our wonderful Creative Weirdo fam because it's just the place to be. And lastly, huge thanks to Keurig for sponsoring today's video. Guys, check out Keurig.com to learn more about that K Cafe Coffee House Brewer deliciousness. Mm, delicious, yes. It powered me through the day, thank you. <laughs> so guys, that's it. We'll see you on the next What's My Aesthetic. Stay creative, stay weird, stay you. We love you so much, bye. Bye. Follow! Oh! <laughs> we parked this way. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what you do. No, Kate. Okay, let's go get No, them. no, Kate, okay, it's this. Oh, it's so loud. Well, your tongue's out. It's part of the move. You work on it. You'll work on it. You'll work on it.